the region still suffering from the devastation wrought by Super Typhoon Ompong last month. In fact, the province of Isabela is still under a state of calamity because of Ompong. Now, this morning, Typhoon Rosita battled through the province to add to the devastation. News 5's Romel Lopez with a story. As early as 3 a.m. on Tuesday, the onslaught of Typhoon Rosita can already be felt in the province of Isabela. As dawn broke, the strong winds continued and Rosita made landfall in the town of Dinapige. But neighboring towns like Kawayan City were not spared. As the weather improved, the damage became more evident. The Flores family lost their house. They were glad they evacuated. Kasi nakakatakot sir, itong ano, itong bagyo na ganun eh. Hindi namin na expect na ganun ng kalaga sir pala yung bagyo. The whole city won't be serving food anytime soon. Rosita's strong winds brought its roofs down. Sa lakas nga ng hangin, tsaka mababa kasi. Hindi yeah. tulad nung una nun, mataas. Yeah. Like, ano una, wala na sira dito eh. Ngayon. Ngayon, pero mo, wasak lahat. Most of the province is powerless. Authorities are now monitoring the swollen rivers, serving as a catch basin in the region. The Magat Dam also released water early before it could reach the critical level. Ang uh, Isabela, pagkatapos ng ganitong uh, sakuna, mm. eh, two days after, baha naman ang kasunod. Mm. Dahil dudot ng uh, mga nakapaligid na mga bundok sa probinsya, marami mga ilog na mm. nag-uugnay hanggang uh, sa Cagayan River at, at catch basin ito northern part ng Isabela. DSWD Secretary Rolando Bautista was in the area to make sure relief goods and services reached the most affected. Bautista said they also want to avoid politicking the distribution in the area. Inutos ng isang opisyal outside of DSWD susundin. So wala po yun. Talagang ang control po nun ay yung uh, uh, DSWD, pati na rin po sa distribution. Uh, Inensure po natin na pag dinistribute yun ay merong representante ang uh, DSWD. Isabela is still under the state of calamity after the super typhoon Ompong's recent rampage. The provincial board is set to discuss if another state of calamity will be declared on top of the first one. For News 5, Rami Lopez. We are One News.